Hey, what's up, everybody? Ellis Barber here checking in. So today we're gonna be taking a review on the Nike Dunk Off White, the red colorway. They did release three colorways in this version of the shoe, which is the green one, the yellow or blue, whatever it's blue, and then the red one, which is the one I'm gonna be showing today. It is the red one, guys. So with that, let's just get into it. So guys, this shoe was it wasn't purchased by me. It was a gift from my girlfriend for a three-year anniversary, which we had like two weeks ago. Uh, but here we have the box guys um honestly it's it reminds me a lot of cheese for some reason i don't know why like i think it's just these whole cutouts i don't know it's just kind of random but here we have the gray reflective box which is really nice but if you do get it dirty you can just see all those scuff marks and everything right there but yeah you got this silver metallic box with the brand with the label on the side right here size 10 and a half and uh that's about it it sucks because it like if you crease it or just something happens to it it's just right away you can just notice it right here so inside guys you guys do get that all fire paper right here these shoes were purchased on StockX. honestly i'm not even sure what the prices are at i think last time i checked they were like at four four fifty four forty i don't know if they went down but that's the last time i checked guys Honestly guys, it's been a while since I've gotten a shoe from StockX, but I noticed that they did change their tag as well. Honestly, I like the other one a little better, but I mean, it still looks cool, but either way, I take it off. So I know some people that leave it, but I don't know. I just, I don't see, like, it just kind of bothers me. Like, I just get annoyed at the regular off-white tag sometimes, so I take it off. But, yeah, I don't see a point for that, people leaving it. All right, then guys, so let's talk about the shoes. So pretty much it looks like a spit, like a, this is honestly my first dunk. I've never had a dunk. I did want to pick one up that was, uh, I think it was the Kentucky, like it was a colorway, which was blue and white, but I missed out on it. And I saw it in person and for some reason, I fell off it. I feel like the materials weren't as good. Like I just, I got over the shoe, I guess. But I have this one now, this one's like, it's really, really nice. The only other, dunk I would want is the pigeons that are like it's super clean that black and gray colorway that released like I think I think it was 20 end of 2018 or beginning of 2019 all right guys so here you have your dunk you have this first this orange tab right here like every other off-white has right here guys you have that crazy lacing system which I've seen some people they put it on the back of their shoe like this but I mean I haven't tried it like that I've only worn a shoe like twice but I just like it, I like it in the front and I like lacing this one on like a factory lace and then just the bottom one like a regular, like a regular tie, which I think it looks cool like that. And the inner of the shoe guys, you guys do have that official off-white paragraph that they do in every shoe. You also got this milky looking zip tie, which honestly I do like, it just stands out. I, I, I was hoping they didn't do red just cause if they did red, that would be too much red on the shoe. So I feel like this color is just perfect. So yes, you see it right there. It says Off White Co Nike with 2017 zip tie. See it right there. The bottom, guys, you guys have that standard Nike sole, which honestly, it reminds me, it just straight up looks like a Jordan 1 sole right there. Nothing special on the back, guys. Just normal heel right here. Looks, I think this, I'm not sure. I don't think the dunks could do this. The, like, just regular dunks, but I know this one does that. I'm not sure if the other ones do that. On the front guys, you guys do have this different tongue, which I'm gonna, honestly, I'm more of a fan of this. The other one they have, like just the regular dunks, I feel like it's too bulky, it's too, like, I don't know. It's just, I don't like it how it looks on feet, it makes your feet look fat. But this one's right here, and then you have that Nike stitched on right there, or it's like, yeah, it's stitched on. Makes it look like vintage. On the insole guys, you guys do have this old fashioned Nike like swoosh like that's how it used to look before i guess pretty nice you guys also have that off white right there and what's honestly what's pretty cool too is that in the bottom of the insole you have like this it's the same print as the bottom of the shoe which i think looks cool it's a cool like hint another thing guys is that this material is crazy crazy soft like it's just like like it's buttery soft i don't know if you can see on the camera but it's just super super soft like when you walk i honestly i feel like i'm wearing like like uh slippers or something like i just don't feel like there's no no pressure on my feet it's just super comfortable i mean the bottom is like just like a regular i don't know jordan one but it's just i think it's super comfortable like it just it feels if it's cool it's cool guys it's a cool feeling 
And uh, but yeah, that that I've never had a shoe this like this soft, this premium. Uh, maybe my Travis Scott is the closest thing I could get, but I don't think it's this soft. Like it's super like. Look how easy you can squish it in. Like, you didn't have to try. Which some people I've heard that they don't like that. They're kind of against it just because your foot moves a lot. But I think it just depends if you got it too big. But mine feel like on the spot. Like it just feels comfortable. With sizing, guys, I recommend honestly going with a size, with a true size. For me, I have a wide foot. It's like I have a wide foot, but then I have, I don't know. It's just lately my shoes have been fitting all 10 and a half. Like my 10s don't like. They fit snug, so I feel like my size, true size now, is a ten and a half. Cause like, for me, like the top of my foot, like right here, it it hurts. Like with Jordan ones, it doesn't like feel good. So I go from a ten to a ten and a half. A ten fits, but I just feel way more comfortable with a ten and a half. All right, then guys, so I'm gonna throw the clip on right here. It's showing my own feet clip. I hope you guys enjoy it. so that was long feet honestly like i said super amazing shoe honestly like it's just it stands out so much like i've worn this shoe out like me or well, just twice and like instantly you get like eyes catching and everything maybe they trip out on the shoelaces like what the why is so extra you know but it's just i don't know i i just became like a fan of loud shoes for some reason like i do wear like my beaters are not loud at all i just wear them just you know just like whatever but i do have those shoes that are just more chill but I like having this extra shoe sometimes just because I feel like for a summer, like this with shorts, it looks so clean, just like perfect. So this is honestly going to be a nice summer shoe right here, guys. All right, guys. So I, out of a 10, I'll give these honestly, I'm going to say a nine. I, I think a nine because uh, I feel like off-white for some reason, like I if you compare this to all the other off-whites they've released, they release they do so like they do so much stuff to their shoes like the Jordan ones like they just they have stitched stuff they like pretty much bake things apart and it's just like it's so different like even the fives they released recently like they're just so out there but honestly like if this is like I still like this shoe a lot like so I like at nine and a half almost a ten just because I feel like they could have done something extra something like I don't know with this or I don't know I don't know something right here I don't know just something extra guys another thing guys I know like a lot of people have been talking about this uh, the virus that's been going around and it's scary you know like for me it sucks honestly like it really does suck just cuz um, well I'm a barber as you can see by my name and um, it sucks cuz they just we're not working right now like it's like I'm just, like so tired of like just being home it's barely been like what two weeks I think and we're extended until May 4th which I'm crossing my fingers, but a lot of people are saying it's not going to stop by then. So it's just like right now, honestly, I'm going to be trying to get on the grind for YouTube just to like do more videos just because I have more time. And last week, honestly, guys, I rearranged my whole room. I'm pretty sure you could tell uh, as my last videos before, like it's the same room. It's just uh, I pretty much me and my girlfriend, helped, she helped me out a lot. And we painted the whole room, just reorganizing everything. And it's just like I really like how it looked like I got this new like display too, which I'll probably make a video on like on display shoes i don't know maybe i'll do it if you guys i don't know if you guys want to i'll do it for you guys um i have some ideas i've seen like other youtubers do so i'll probably just post it myself and then um but yeah a lot of the time i've been gaming it and just um just trying to relax i guess trying to like process like everything 
so much like stuff coming up bills and everything just pretty much just try to like make sure everything's calculated right and everything all right then guys so that pretty much concludes today's video if it's your first time here make sure you hit the subscribe button and also throw up the like button as well and with that guys stay fresh and we'll stay safe as well it was barber here signing out